today our topic is graphics system in computer graphic so before going to understand the graphics uh, system in computer graphics let's have a look on this model so here this is an application model application program a graphic system is present in between the application program and your system okay so let's take the system here it is a processor which performs the operation if you are working on if you want to work on the computer graphics or if you want to work on the art type concepts let's take the processor which is having a supports the graphic system so the first thing whatever you want to uh, create an art so for that an application model is required so for that app application model an application program has to be there so with the help of this application program we are connecting to the graphic system so from that uh, so here the in the graphic system whatever the transformations that you require those can be performed in the graphic system and that can be displayed on the screen okay this is what happening here now let's have a look on the concept a graphing system consisting of five major elements what are those five major elements input devices output devices memory processor and the frame buffer so everything is the same as your system whatever the general purpose system that you are working on uh, that you are regularly using the same it is everything is the same only the thing here is what type of input devices you can use so that you can uh, uh, your graph your pictures can be whatever the images and the videos and the pictures all those can be transformed in a very good format and with a good resolution that is our main concept right so what type of input devices we have to use so that our pictures can appear in a good resolution and you can perform a different transformations on the picture and what type of output devices we can use and what type of memory and the processor and here one more concept that we are using is a frame buffer so that we will see in detail each and every element okay so here if you see uh, this is a block diagram here uh, these are the input devices so the input devices like uh, the mouse keyboard so this is a mouse and this is the keyboard let's take this is a tablet whatever you are using okay so these are all the input devices these input devices are connected to the processor so here we will use two types of processing elements in the processor so one is for your general purpose whatever the calculations what your system is working on and another is for uh, supporting the graphics okay the processor that supports the graphics okay the gra gra graphics processing element we are using here and the memory the memory here we are working on the two types of memory one is for the regular storage of the data and it also helpful in uh, working on the uh, graphics storing the data of uh, graphics data okay and this is the frame buffer frame buffer is nothing but here uh, the pixels are stored in whatever the image that you are working that you want to be displayed on the screen right so when you want to display on the screen like the raster screen crt screen whatever the screen if you want to display that image so in between the processor and the frame uh, screen there is a frame buffer the frame buffer is used to store the pixels so that you can uh, image can be appeared uh, with a good resolution whatever the type of format you want you can it can be displayed so it's a buffer which stores the pixels so that this depth of, uh, depth of the frame buffer is always depends upon the number of pixels okay number of pixels that we are using on the picture okay so the depth of the pix, uh, frame buffer is depends upon the number of pixels that we are using on that picture okay so these are the input devices and the processor will be there this whatever the type of processor that you are going to be select it has to be support the graphical user interface also and the memory means the graphics it has to be support the graphics also and the frame buffer should be present in between the processor and the screen that uh, crt screen okay so now let's discuss about the processor so there are two types of processor will be there uh, takes place within the processor that is what i am saying a uh, two types of processing uh, is going to be take place here when you are working on the graphic system uh, so the first is performing the picture formation processing so let's work uh, whatever the picture that you want to be 
uh, work on it that picture formation processing will be taking place in in processor so the picture is formed using the elements we know that what type of elements that we are using if you want to format the picture we can use the lines and the text available in the system with the help of some desired attributes okay like the color and the font and the text color text font uh, uh, style everything we will discuss uh, consider the user interface is a part of this processing so who is interfacing here the user we are the user uh, interface uh, is a part of this processing we are giving the input based on that input only the transformation is uh, taking place right the picture can be specified in a number of ways so we know that whatever the picture that you want to be displayed that can be performed in number of ways so through uh, with the help of menu control painting program so how the pictures can be transformed through an interactive devices like the menu control painting program or we can use a c programming using the graphic library something you have to write without writing the code uh, it can't transform the, the image cannot be transformed right you need to write some algorithms some coding part you have to be done so that coding part either you can go for the menu controlling painting program or we can write the c program using graphics library so the physical processor whatever it is present in the system used in this stage is often the processor is in workstation or host computer just like a processor that you are work uh, using in your host computer or the personal computer is the same processor but here the one more processing element is going to be added uh, that is the graphic uh, supporting okay graphic supporting device the second kind of processing is concerned with the display of the picture so whatever the second type of processing one is for your general uh, operations and the another type of processing element that is present in the processor that is always focusing on the display of the picture if you are working on the uh, images videos okay let's take the processor is having the two types of processing elements one is focusing on the displaying of the picture another is processing of the your system of everything okay it's a performance ev everything in a raster system suppose if, if you if you take the raster system the specified primitives must be scanned converted the screen must be refreshed to avoid flicker so if you take those type of system here these are the features that it is going to be performed input from the user requires object to be repositioned on the display the kind of processor best suited for this type of job what type of if you want if your if your screen wants to display these type of information this type of data on the screen so what type of uh, uh, processor you can be choose so for that you can go for the special boards and the chips that are often used okay now coming to the memory so far you had seen about the uh, processor now let's uh, talk about the memory that we used in the graphic system there are often two different types of memories used in the graphic system for the processing of user program the memory is similar to that of standard program computer whatever the uh, processing of the user program we will generally use this uh, normal memory which is suitable for the standard computer as a picture is formed by a standard type of arithmetic processor how the picture is forming based on the pixels only okay based on the arithmetic calculations the positions on the screen 1 2 3 arithmetic calculations right so uh, it requires a general uh, pro, uh, memory uh, that is uh, similar to that of standard computer and uh, we have to mainly focus on the display processing right the display processing however requires high speed display memory if you want to display the data on the crt screen so it requires a high speed display memory we required okay that can be accessed by the display processor so the processor consisting of two kinds of uh, processing elements will be there right so if you are uh, if you are using the display processor you require the high speed display memory also along with the normal memory it has to be added a future a feature like high speed display memory is required so and in raster system memory for the buff, uh, frame buffer now coming to the next one is the output device right so our basic system has one or more output devices if you take your laptops or your uh, anything desktop you are taking for that you are having one or more output devices so a raster scan crt is present on your on our system we consider the frame buffer to be a part of the display memory so that is what i am saying so a frame buffer is required when you are working on the graphics 
okay so it should be a part of your display memory a memory is of two time two kinds i'm say said uh, i already said so there the display memory is there so in the display memory uh, a frame buffer is present so what is the use of the frame buffer i said a frame buffer is used to store the pixels number of bits used per pixels number of bits used per pixels suppose if a uh, uh, the depth of the frame if you want to calculate the depth of the frame the depth of the frame is nothing but the sorry number of bits used per pixels that is the depth of the frame suppose if you take the one bit deep the frame buffer uh, depth is one bit deep then only the black and white pixel will be present the number of bits used per pixels here that we will go only with the black and white suppose if you go for eight bit deep so 8 bit deep means 2 power 8 nothing but 256 colors you can use 256 colors you can use so suppose if it is 24 bit deep then you can go for the rgb okay rgb colors so that means you will get a 256 shades you can get so suppose if in the workstations if you take in the if you are working uh, if you are talk about the workstation the di the display is an integral part of the system so the transfer of information from processor to the display will happen rapidly suppose your system is is a workstation system in your office it is a workstation system so it is having a high configuration everything will be there so for those systems the display is an integral part of the system okay everything the crt the raster scan crt you can everything you can see on your uh, display device only it is having that feature but suppose when the display is separate this, such as a graphic terminals if you take the graphic terminals the speed of connection is somewhat less one thing you have to remember student if the display is an integral part of the system obviously the transfer of information from processor to the display will happen rapidly but your display is separated from your system like the graphic terminal the speed of connection is much slower okay now coming to the input devices so we know that the input devices are nothing but the keyboard so what type of keyboards you are using if you provide a keyboard provided with the digital code corresponding to the sequence of uh, keystrokes whatever the user is using suppose if you are using the arrows so the what the arrows are doing the arrows keys available on the keyboards right so it is used to direct the movement you are going left side or right side the cursor is moving to the left side or right side of the screen so most graphic system will provide at least one of one other input devices suppose if you were talking about the programmer's perspective so if you are working on the graphic system so in that in terms of the programmer's perspective there are numerous important issues will be regarded when they are working on the input and output devices what they are mainly focusing how the program can communicate with the devices they are always working on how these devices will be communicated and what kind of input and output can be produced if you use these type of devices and how to control the multiple devices these are all the multiple tasks that this programmers uh, has to be think while they are working on okay so the different input devices that we are working on the graphic system or the keyboard mouse trackball space ball joystick light pen digitizer touch panel voice recognition and image scanner these are all the different input devices so this is about the graphic system student i hope you understand still if you having any doubts please let me know thank you